Good afternoon, it is my pleasure to introduce you the new sport action ball. My name is Chad Nelson. Um, I'm an instructional professor here at Texas A&M University and we have brought action ball to our campus. It is an all-encompassing sport. It has components of soccer, ultimate frisbee, basketball, football, lacrosse, uh, basically a gateway sport to many other sports uh, that are very popular in grade school and also college. Now, as you can see, it is a 12-foot semi-circle around the goal. Uh, Alejandro, he can be the goalkeeper here, but as you can see, the crease is a plane or also it is just a safety barrier between the players and the goalkeeper. No players are allowed into the crease and the goalkeeper cannot leave the crease. That is a component of action ball. And as you can see, the 10 by 5 soccer goal, we have a soccer ball, the size 5, and then all you need is just a bunch of people that want to play action ball. We've got plenty of that here at Texas A&M and hopefully you have people at your home as well. Here are some basic rules for action ball. A player can run with the ball until they are touched while in possession of the ball. Once touched, the player is required to stop and pass the ball. There is a special move called the halo. With this move, a player can throw the ball over his or her head before being touched in order to maintain possession of the ball. If the ball hits the ground at any time, the game is now soccer. To return the ball back to the player's hand, the ball must be kicked from the foot of any player. Any player can catch the ball as long as it comes from the foot of a player. Handball violations occur when a player touches the ball that has hit the ground and not been kicked up to their hands. Your team earns points by getting the ball into the opponent's goal. One point for balls that are thrown in, two points for balls that are kicked in, three points for the team that can complete a header for a goal. Now, game time consists of two 20-minute halves. The team with the most points at the final whistle is the winner. Now let's get your teams together and play some action ball.